In this quick tips video, I'm gonna give you a brief rundown of what voicing is. In my teaching lately with my private students, I've been talking a lot about voicing and like tongue position and these kinds of things. And I realized that voicing is one of those sort of more advanced concepts that is actually really important to the fundamentals of playing that not a lot of people talk about and not a lot of people really understand what the heck it even means. So I wanted to give you just a quick rundown of sort of the definition of voicing and why it's so important. So the way that I think of the voicing is just basically how you're aiming at the note. Every note has its own sort of variables of the air pressure, the air speed, the air direction, the embouchure pressure, the embouchure sort of uh, variables and like more top lip, more corners, more firmer bottom lip, how engaged the jaw is, those different things. And then there's also the tongue position, which sort of has to do with aiming the air and like, is the back of the tongue high or medium or where those things are. Um, and that all of those variables come together to create this bigger idea of voicing. If you ever find yourself trying to play low notes or something like that and you're ending up squeaking to some higher notes, that's sometimes just a voicing issue. There's some other issues that might be causing those squeaks, but voicing is one of those where you're just not aiming for the low note. You're maybe not thinking about where you're aiming or you don't understand how the voicing works, so you end up aiming for the wrong note and missing it. A great way to demonstrate this is doing this fun exercise where I'm just going to finger a low C, just the normal one ledger line below the staff C, but I'm going to be able to adjust my voicing to play a G at the top of the staff and then approximately an E above that and then an A above that and sort of squeak my way through the different partials of the instrument with just one fingering. So that sounds something like this. So you can hear by changing the way that I'm aiming the air, the different variables that I talked about, my voicing, that's the sort of umbrella term for all of those different variables. By changing my voicing, I'm able to play a lot of different notes with that one fingering. And that's what it's all about, is just making sure that you have the right voicing. So if I'm aiming for the G at the top of the staff, I need to have that G voicing, and then I have the register key to help me out. Same thing with the E above that, I need to have the voicing for the E, and then I lift this finger to help me out to actually get that to come out and to get it to come out in tune, of course. So the voicing is very simply, the most basic way of describing it is what the mouth has to do, what the air has to do to play in those different registers of the clarinet, and to play in those registers with a great sound and with lots of ease. I could go a bit more in depth with what's actually happening where like as I go higher my jaw's a little bit more engaged or like maybe the tongue on the low notes is a little bit more like this if this is the reed and this is the tongue it's a little bit like this and then it sort of arches more as you get into the higher ones and things like that but honestly the only way to really figure it out is to just do it yourself. You don't want to be thinking especially when you're playing a piece of music or performing you don't want to be thinking like okay I need to get my tongue in like exactly this position for this note or it's not going to come out. Um, that just gets you so distracted from all of the other stuff and takes you out of the moment of playing. So you want to do that maybe on your warm-ups and do some long tones into like the higher notes to find the proper voicing and memorize what that feels like and then just build it into your muscle memory through experimentation so then you can just focus on the music when you're performing. So I hope that helps give you a sort of basic definition and understanding of what voicing is. Um, in actual practice, it's just all about doing long tones and sort of like finding how to aim for those notes as best as you can. You can also do that little voicing exercise I did where you finger the low C and then play through all of the sort of higher squeaks above that while still just fingering the C. But that's the basic overview of it. I hope that helps. And I thank you so much for watching this and enjoying this. Feel free to share Share this with anybody who you think might uh, benefit from a better understanding of voicing, and I look forward to seeing you in another video.